we're very happy to be part of the national network because it will bring a lot of minds onto the same problems. And we're going to work together to develop um, systems for evaluating patients with certain conditions so that there's a, a really a, a plan based on certain diseases that can be shared with anyone who's not even in the network. So we certainly bring a very, very strong genomics background to the network, and genomics and genetics is how many of these conditions have been solved. It turns out the underlying cause that when we can find it is genetic in really most cases, and so we're very strong in that area. For some of these patients, they've gone to five or six different medical centers, had a lot of imaging done, had a lot of testing done without a result, and when they finally get it, it's just so important to them. The University of Washington Medical Center and Children's Hospital are really every patient care. There's really nothing we can't do. We have a very can-do attitude on top of that. And it's an extraordinarily collaborative environment where people really do work together as teams. It's very difficult for families when their child has a medical issue that is undiagnosed and they, they get referred to many different specialists. It's a very long odyssey. We call it the Diagnostic Odyssey. The, the Undiagnosed Disease Network is there to help end those diagnostic odysseys and help a family get all the evaluations and tests that they need to make a diagnosis. So this is similar to what people have been doing for rare diseases for a long time, but it puts all the resources needed in one place. The Undiagnosed Disease Network also has ways for the families to reach out to other families using social networking to find other families with same disorders, and that actually helps the science and the diagnosis as well. It's really amazing because for these families, it's, it's an answer that they've been searching for, and I, I recall one family who looked at me and they said, we've been waiting eight years to hear this, and it's just so powerful for them and us. I would encourage the families to apply, especially families in the rural areas who may not have access to all of the subspecialty evaluations and to work with their local providers. Our goal is to give these families a diagnosis and then help their local provider continue to take care of them.